G'day guys, today we're going to review the Cold Steel Medieval Training Spear, that's this one right here. That's all coming up. Go guys, spears were arguably the most popular weapon of the whole medieval period. Lightweight, simple to use, very easy to use, very inex inexpensive. So everyone would have had one, pretty much. And uh, these are a phenomenal weapon too. Very, very sort of dynamic in their employment. You can use them for hunting, for fishing. You can use them on the battlefield as well and sometimes the differences between them were actually not that great. So I decided I wanted to improve my training and get a couple of these things. They're not very expensive. Um, I bought these online for I think around about $40 Australian. I'm not really sure how that compares to, to uh, from my American and Canadian friends what they pay overseas but so I've just got a couple of notes written down. It's 7.8 ounces or 220 grams in weight. A half an inch thickness max um, with a seven millimeter blade thickness. So hectic really and perfectly safe for LARP or for medieval reenactment, fight training, that kind of thing. It's 17 inches long, which equates to 43.1 centimeters. And it's actually made from a, a material called Stantoprene. Stantoprene. It's not plastic and it's a type of rubber. It's really, really, really interesting. And I think we'll come on to this in a second. But let's just take a bit of a look. So you can see the blade has this ball at the end. You can see the blade has this ball at the end, right? It's fantastic. So this is so much safer than you'll find here we go, so here's the spearhead. Now not only do I have the impact, not only do I have the impact kind of protection by the ball, so that's really, really good, but you also have the fact that this blade is so flexible because it's not made of plastic, it's not a hard material, it's in fact just made from this soft stanoprene type, type rubber, and there's the edge thickness for you which is as you can see seven millimeters thick so it's around about a third of an inch thick at the blade tip can't really call it a tip it's so thick so this hands down without question for me is a 10 out of 10 I'm going to be buying a whole bunch of these for my group um, I think they're absolutely fantastic um, and as I say a, a, a spear is something that everyone should have and a lot of the kids in my group will be training with these because why not in, in historically uh, in the medieval period kids would absolutely have had spears to protect their flock of sheep or cows or pigs to um, to hunt and to fish with that kind of thing so um, I think this is absolutely amazing for reenactment and if you want to improve the safety and not rely on a metal training spear because sometimes the, even just the impact of those things can be fairly significant. This is a really good option. 10 out of 10, no question. I really, really like this. I rate it super high um, and I really enjoy it. I really like training with it, even with, this is a six feet or roughly 180, what, four centimeter halved um, this is made of Tasmanian oak and it's it's really fantastic so super lightweight um, and I, I really like it it's it's just the way it feels it's just dynamic in the same way that a real spear is even when you're training with um, 
training with metal spears or using sharp spears, this is so similar to it and it has the same kind of characteristics. So I really, really recommend this. If you're into medieval reenactment, LARP or even cosplay, this is definitely something to think about. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.